no, now, now the pressure's yeah. on. So like, congratulations. Like, thank you for sticking with us. This has been the last two years of have, well, they've sucked. Um, and except you for all, you guys, you guys have been great. I know. I mean, I mean like, 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 like the situation has sucked for everybody, Yes. but you all have done an amazing job, like making some lemonade out of these crazy lemons, like capstone did not go this year, the way it would go in normal years. We didn't get to spend nearly enough time, like actually like rubbing elbows with you and got getting out in the mud and the dirt in the lab. And so, so like, thank you for sticking with it and persevering despite everything. Um, rah, rah, rah. Um, we want to just acknowledge also that it, like capstone is like part of college, but like the purpose of college is not to like get good at college, right? The purpose of college is we want you to graduate and leave, um, and go out and have like interesting and successful and compelling and impactful lives and careers beyond college, right? So a lot of what we do in Capstone, it's, it's college and it's class and it's like about what we're doing here and it's assignments and it's like boxes feel like you have to check and stuff. But like our goal here is that you can leave this program capable of doing things in the real world that will make you able to contribute to that world in a meaningful and successful way. Um, so we just wanted to reflect on on a few of those things. And Dr. A, you should you should jump in and talk over me and and rah rah rah. Um, anytime you should so feel. Right. So we talked, but we did so like a lot of professional development stuff in Capstone, and we just like wanted like this is this is all stuff that I I don't speak for myself. Like I I learned mostly the hard way by by making dumb mistakes and failing a lot um and you will all still continue to make mistakes and fail but fail early and fail often and then learn and get better at stuff but we've given you some tools to get you started right like having business cards having your website a linkedin profile like the ability to think about and articulate your experiences onto a, a resume how to talk about yourself in a professional way with people that like you don't know, but maybe you'd kind of like to know because they might hire you someday, right? Like these are all things, that, this is all critical information, critical skill sets, critical little tools for your toolbox that even if you decide tomorrow that you wanna, you're, you're done with environmental science, you'd like to write sonnets. Um, <laughs> And that's awesome. I think there's tons of room for science in the arts. That's great. I love it. But these skills will help you there also. Yeah. I mean, you know, this is not about, this is, this is about making you guys kick butt, right? That's what this is. And, and, and there's the, the intellectual kick butting and there's the soft skill kick butting and there's the professional development kick butting. It's all important. We get that. That's why we've done this this way. Sometimes it might seem like, oh, why are they having us do that? Or hopefully now that you have a bit of perspective, you can see the utility of trying to memorize your your elevator pitch and and creating a graphical display of your data and and all those different things. They're all important. And too often we don't have a chance to practice these, particularly practice them in a place where we can we can trip and fall on our face and and feel lame and then get back up and keep charging, right? So that's what we've been trying to create for you guys. And hopefully hopefully you guys um, have, have made the most of this experience. It, particularly challenging during COVID, particularly challenging. It's a, a challenging experience anytime, but these last couple of years have been um, so much more so. So thanks for sticking with this. And we get that some of you guys are stressed out. We get that some of you guys are like, why are you guys making us do this, right? Um, but you you're at the end of the trail, right? Excellent job, everybody. We talked about some other sort of professionally relevant, or this is like whether it's a job, whether you go to grad school, um, but some other ways of thinking about your productivity, right? And we want you to just pause and reflect on how you produced everything that you produced in the process of finishing capstone. Right. And being the ability to be self reflective about your process of like how you get things done is actually going to be a really important skill going on. 
because you like I, I I doubt very much that any of you are going to retire tomorrow. Most likely, most of you are going to continue to do work for many years to come. Um, and so the ability to work like efficiently and productively and to learn from mistakes and to plan your time and to work with others, right? These are all super important things and they call them like soft skills, but right, like the, these are the ways that you like hack yourself so that you can do your job well and then get better jobs and better pay and retire sooner. Um, and so we'll call these soft skills, but like they are really some of the most important things that no one will teach you. You have to figure out yourself. And so we've given you some, some tools for how to think about that. We really stressed planning early on. Um, we're gonna have you do a bit of you know, reflection here at the end, but thinking about how you work and how you can help yourself work better, whether that's with others or with your schedule or with you know, your priorities what's important, what's not important. Like all these things are things that you're going to be grappling with no matter what you do for a long time to come. Um, and, and I would ask, I, I would add to all these other things that, that are all these awesome skills. Um, uh, uh, hopefully this is, this is the start, right? We, we've been working with you guys uh, on these things. There's, of course, many more things to learn, these fantastic soft skills, these fantastic science skills. And we really want to encourage you all to be lifelong learners, right? Lifelong growers, lifelong cultivators of these um, fantastic things, right? Th this ability to interrogate the natural world, this ability to look and determine if there's there's um, something just going on here, something sustainable going on here, something desirous going on here. That, that is a, a lifelong path. And so hopefully these, this course that we've had all of you on for all this time is something that you'll, you'll keep to the path. The path will change, but, but always be curious. Always be curious. Always be, be growing. Yeah, and I'd say, you know, like when you reflect on the science skills that you learned during Capstone, maybe you're going to like focus on you know, like using the FTIR or like how to use that, you know, the temperature probes or that statistical tool. But like really in the big picture of science skills, asking questions and systematically answering them, like at the topmost level, like that's what it's all about. And you don't just need to do that well to do science well. Like this is gonna be useful in every aspect of your life, right? Like a doctor is gonna give you a diagnosis and you're going to want to ask a bunch of questions and answer them systematically so that you can understand that diagnosis. Like a politician is going to ask for you for your vote and tell you a bunch of things. And you're going to want to ask a bunch of questions about that and answer them systematically so that you can be better informed and better engaged as a member of your community. Um, maybe some of you aren't going to collect data again going forward in a, in a scientific way, but you can still scientifically collect information about the world around you be skeptical, ask questions, come up with ways to systematically answer them, and it'll help you be able to contribute more fully to sort of like the world around you, right? By being engaged in an intelligent and a reflexive, reflective way. Dr. A, your brow is furrowed. Jump in on that. Oh, um, furrowed. Oh, I wasn't trying to be furrowed. I was trying to be, be, be optimistic and smiling. Okay. I would say, I would say, um, totally. I'd also add here, um, uh, all those things are fantastically important. We would ask you guys to also think about the gift of grace, right? The gift of taking a breath. It's very easy in today's day and age to be really angry. It's very easy to be bitter and to be, you know, Arr! try some grace, right? And I know that's easy to say sometimes, but, but really it is helpful. Grace with um, your future employer when they're short and, and whatever. Grace with the person that disagrees with you, right? And we're, we're, we're locked in some kind of policy discussion or whatever. Um, um, give yourself the gift of grace. And it's okay for you to allow yourself to, you know, 
take a weekend off, to take a, you know, a, a pause and all that. Um, there's, a, there's so much stress these days. Um, it's an important thing. And I would also say that um, as you guys are reflecting on your time, I'm old. I'm the old guy here, right? I'm the, I'm the old one. So um, old. So old. <clears throat> So and he's going on. You got to lock it up in the next 30 seconds. But we have a lot of folks like Dr. Reineman, uh, I'm very uh, Dr. young. Steele, other folks that are so young and, and they're, and they're still early on their careers. Um, consider a little thank you note to those folks, right? Consider, uh, you know, as we're heading off to graduation, you know, a little thank you and, and, uh, and just appreciate the time. Um, we want to stay in touch with you all. Um, we want to make sure that we can follow your course, that we can follow the path that you're on and, 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 and take some little bit of pride in where you guys are going and doing. Please stay in touch. Please stay in touch. Um, uh, we, we don't get paid a huge amount of money. We don't have a whole lot of resources, but you guys are the reason we do this. You're the reason why Dr. Reinemann's here, why I'm here, Dr. Patch is here, everybody is here. And, and we, are, we exist to help launch you guys on these pathways. And we love to watch where that rocket goes. So please do stay in touch for us, with us. And, and, and by all means, send us a little note every now and then. Hey, just got this cool job. Just found this funny thing. I just did this weird thing. And I was super stressed out. And I remember that, that uh, Dr. Reinemann talked to us about um, the... Uh, the S sandwich. And I remembered, oh my God, this was this S sandwich of this meeting I was in and let, let him know that, right. That, that, that's, we really do. I, um, I love hearing about a shit sandwich. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, hey, we, our, my, our goal is to finish on time. We went two minutes over. Um, that was my fault. Sorry. Yeah. Cause he's, it's a, it's an age thing. Um, <laughs> Can I add my two cents professor? That you, thank you. Thank you all. We're officially done. Ali, we are, we're going to hang out so we can we can chat for a few more minutes. Um, we hope you will all go for the gusto um, and um, and keep in touch and uh, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the great semester, guys. Cheers. Go team. Thank you. Guys. Go team. Thank you. Go team. Ali, chime in, please. No, I just want to say thank you too for being amazing professors. Um, I feel like not a lot of, how to say, majors have people like you. And thank you both being there both on and off the clock. I just feel that without you two, not a lot of us would make it this far and with your encouragement and everything. I appreciate both of you to the max and I can't, words can't describe sometimes how much I appreciate both of you. But thank you both for always being there for all of us. You got it, Ali. Keep in touch. Awesome, dude. Thank you, Professor. Good luck with everything, everybody. Um, I just wanted to say, as someone who's been going to school for six years and finally just got their first full-time job um, and like made it through this program as far as I've gotten, Almost, I really do you know. appreciate <laughs> the uh guidance the words everything so seriously thank you guys uh you guys do not get paid enough for what you do <laughs> so you guys are literally creating the future here i really appreciate it thanks awesome. peter thanks peter Right, what questions do you have? You don't all just have to stick around and say nice things. That's <laughs> yeah. What are the nice things are you guys going to say about us now? <laughs> <laughs> questions, have, comments? Yeah, go ahead, Charlene. I had a question on our data repository, the upcoming one. Yeah. So we're supposed to have our own subfolders, right, within our team folder? Okay. And then on, on the assignment, it says that we have, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Um, it says like for the first requirement, it says that our subfolder has to be in our team folder 
with the naming our last name individual thesis title year is that just we don't have to write our own individual thesis this is correct just... correct you do, you do not have to write yeah right so we're we're a collaborative one collaborative thesis yes correct so don't freak out <laughs> other that people have asked that sorry. question they're like we don't need to write an individual thesis now do we oh we sprung it in sprung it on you in the last week so the last week what you're like we do wrote is... individual stuff and i was just like <laughs> i have to just like combine that together for it and then here <sighs> okay all good all good okay awesome okay all right kid rock and roll thank you